this video, I'll show you how to create a door transition in Resolve. Techniques presented will work in any version of Resolve from version 15 through the current version of 17. This is a finished effect that we'll be doing in the tutorial. It's a point of view shot of opening a door and going in and transitioning to a completely unexpected location. To do this, you'll need to source or create two clips the door and the ending location of the transition. Some considerations for your clip are that they both have forward motion in them. While the speed of the clips doesn't necessarily need to match, sometimes that may be desirable. This door clip opens from an exterior location to go inside. We'll tweak the clip to better serve our needs when we get into making the transition. The second clip that I'll use is this highway clip. I'll create a timeline using the door clip. Let's adjust this clip a bit before we get into the transition itself. First I'll stabilize the clip, it's a bit too bouncy for my taste. A straight vertical edge of the door will serve us best here. I can verify that it's straight by adding a color generator above the clip and cropping its edge like this to create a guide. Okay, it looks good. Let's play the clip and see what we've got. Okay, that looks all right, but the clip is a bit slow for my taste, so I'll right mouse click on it and select change clip speed. I'll set it to 150% like this and tell it to ripple the clip so that it trims it down for me. Playing it back, the speed looks good up until about the time the door opens and then it slows down a bit too much for my taste. I'll need to cut the clip at the door right at the first frame where the door starts to open enough to start to show what's on the other side anyway, so I'll right about here should do it. And now I'm going to speed this part of the clip up even more. We'll right mouse click on it and set the clip speed to 250%. Ripple is already selected. Now I'll play back the result. Okay, that looks good. Now we can move on to making the transition mask. Now the clip with the door opening is converted to a fusion clip by right mouse clicking on the clip and selecting new fusion clip. This will create a fusion clip in the media pool. I always rename these so it's more descriptive as to its contents and I'll call this door fusion clip. Now with the playhead positioned over our new fusion clip, I select the fusion page and the clip is brought over for us to work on. You don't need to select the clip in the timeline, only position the playhead over the clip you wish to edit in fusion. If more than one fusion clip is under the playhead, fusion will always select the topmost clip for you to edit in fusion. Now on the fusion page, we have the usual two nodes, media in and media out. I'm going to set the UI to use only one viewer since that's all we'll need for this. I click on this rectangle icon at the top of the screen to set single viewer mode like this. I'll also make the viewer a bit bigger by hovering over this bar until I get this mouse cursor and click and drag down to resize the windows. Now I can zoom it out just slightly. Control plus the mouse wheel on Windows and Command plus the mouse wheel on Mac will zoom in and out, or you can use the numpad plus and minus keys to zoom on either operating system. A couple of other keys that are going to be helpful for us here are the forward and backward one frame keys, and those are the square bracket keys. Now click on Media In to select it, and then press Shift Spacebar to bring up the Tools menu like this. Type Poly and click Add. A new polygon mask will be added as an effect mask input to the Media In node. Click on the Polygon node to select it and note that our viewer now shows only a checkerboard pattern. This indicates transparency. For our purposes, we'll need to invert the mat, so click on the Invert option in the inspector like this. Notice at the top of our viewer is a set of tools that we can use for the Polygon node. We'll only be using the leftmost tool, the Click Append tool, for this very simple example. At this point, ensure that we still have our Polygon node selected, we can start to draw our mask. Points in the Polygon have Bezier handles, so you can create curves, but we don't need those for this. We make sure the playback head is at the first frame, which is indicated here with this yellow line. 
Now we just draw a simple rectangular mask around the door jam like this by clicking and moving the mouse in the rectangle pattern. We bring our polygon to a close by clicking back on the first point. Its closure is indicated by the circle when you hover over the first point once again like this. Now that we have our mask defined, we can animate it. Let's make sure that the playback head is at our starting frame like this. Now ensure that this diamond is orange to ensure keyframes are getting recorded. If it's not, just click on it to make sure it's orange. Fusion will automatically keyframe our changes as we go. I found that with this particular clip, creating a new adjustment to the mask about every five frames or so creates the best result. Note that there are other handles on the polygon and these are used to curve it with Bezier curves. We won't need to do that here, so we want to be careful as we adjust the mask as the door opens that we only select and move the corner handles of the polygon. I won't bore you with the process as I'm sure you get the idea here. I'll speed it up in post. Okay, the mask is finished. I'll move the playhead back to the start and let it play. Okay, that looks good. Let's get back to the edit page and create the transition real quick. Now, I just move our door clip up to video track two. Now we drop the road footage into video track one below it like this. We play it back. And voila, there. That wasn't too tough to do. There's an old saying, sound sells the shot, so let's add a bit of sound here. I'll add some footsteps for the approach to the door. Now let's add a little door creak here. And finally, some road noise. And we'll move the road noise down so it starts after the door is about halfway open and we'll fade it up like this. Now let's check out the finished product. So there you have it, a very simple door transition and resolve. There's always more than one way to skin a cat when it comes to this kind of thing. This is just one method of a number that you could use to pull off this effect. I hope this helps someone. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please click the likes. That really helps other folks find this video. Until the next video, keep on being creative.